and install a TP-Link Gigabit PCI Express adapter on PC desktop. It was on Windows 10 OS and it works very well. As soon as I upgraded to Windows 11, I started getting this error message. Your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. We are just collecting some error info and then we'll restart for you. The PC keeps restarting. This is called Blue Screen of Death BSOD. This is the newly installed PCIe adapter. As long as the LAN cable is connected, it keeps restarting and giving blue screen. Let's follow my steps and get this resolved. These problems are a result of driver conflict or hardware conflict because they are caused whenever I connect my LAN cable. To resolve this, you need to get the TP Link PCI Gigabyte adapter driver for Windows 11 operating system. So I open the PC to know the exact uh, version of the adapter and I can confirm is um, model TG3468 version 2.0. With this information in mind, I go to my laptop to download the Z driver for Windows 11. Okay. Then go to the company website to download it. For this adapter, you can see the website tplink.com en slash support on download. So you go here and download the Z version of this adapter. Different companies will have their different site for their download. So I go to the site and I select version 2. Okay, but version 2 does not have uh, Windows 11 or Windows 10. So the best option is to use version 4 of that um, TG3468 because it's for Windows 11 and Windows 10 and Windows 11. So you see it has for Windows 11 and also for Windows 10. So though the, the adapter is uh, version 2, but you can use version 4. To install it so I download After the download, I copy the driver with my flash and then transfer to the PC for installation. So back to my PC for installation. It comes as a zip file, so I have to unzip it after copying it. So I unzip to extract. Okay, the zip file comes with two files inside, 32 bit and um, 64 bit. Though um, it's showing Windows 10, it also works for Windows 11 operating system. We go ahead and install. So you open the device manager. You can see the option for network adapter. Just 
open it you see the tp link and i'll click update driver okay you select uh, browse my computer then browse just go to the location where you kept the latest driver and pick it up and make sure you pick version uh, 64 bit if your system is 64 bit or 32 if your system is 32 bit and then you continue okay you can see this message window has window has finished installing the drivers for the device you must get this uh, information to be sure that the installation is successful The blue screen is, is resolved. Even when I connect the um, LAN cable, it's still okay. There's no, it's not restarting again. There's no error message again. It's stable now. The screen is stable and the issue is resolved. Please, I will appreciate your comments at the comment section to express what you think about this video. Thank you for watching please do well so subscribe to this channel like this video and help me share thank you for watching bye